How can we reduce plastic from entering our oceans? This is a question we are asking this year as part of our Planetary Stewards Grant. One thing we want to know is, how does plastic travel from the suburbs of a city like Elk Grove, California, into the Sacramento River, and ultimately into the Pacific Ocean? We want to design a disposable plastic bottle that has a GPS tracker, a camera, and maybe other sensors that we can put into the Sacramento River and map where it goes and how fast it travels. But we're kids, and we don't have all the skills we need to do this by ourselves yet. That's why we're working with Shaw Selby, a National Geographic explorer who is literally a rocket scientist. Shaw is the founder of Conservify, a lab that builds conservation technology tools, and we're excited to work with him. Shaw asked us to evaluate which models will work best for our project. He also asked us to recommend what type of sensors we think should go into those bottles. For bottle recommendations, we selected eight disposable water bottles, one reusable water bottle, and one managed jar to determine if they might how the technology Shaw would build. We measured the thickness of the plastic bottle's rims, length, the width, the diameter of the mouth, and the volume. We felt how flimsy or durable the plastic was as well. Unlike the disposable bottles, there is one bottle that might be able to track how plastic moves through a river to the ocean. It's a reusable Nautin bottle. It's the most durable plastic bottle. The purpose of the bottles is to put a GPS tracker and other sensors inside them to see how they move from suburb to sea. When plastic is mismanaged, it's not recycled and may go into storm drains or waterways that lead to the ocean. Whereas a wing, when a bottle or piece of plastic trash is swept away by wind or water, a wing could be anywhere. We want to find how plastic travels through rivers so we can do something about it. 